Libra, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do uh, your Anything Goes reading. Please remember it is a general reading. Timing is fluid and flexible. Uh, this is, uh, if you're new to my channel, okay, Anything Goes is a weekly reading where any message can, can come out. It can be about career, love, finances, situation with loved ones, family, friends, etc. Okay, so take their messages, how they resonate with you. This will be uh, September 21st through the 27th. And uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. If you'd like a personal reading, if you'd like um, to enter the giveaway I'm doing at the end of every month, I'm giving away two personal readings. Uh, and there is my video playlist link in there as well. So also just want to give you all a shout out and say thank you for all of your love, support uh, for me and my channel. I just hit 100,000 subscribers um, this weekend. It feels a big accomplishment for me. Okay, so I'm very excited. I did post a, um, a video this morning. I'm so excited by the Pointer, Pointer Sisters. It's a very fun video to watch. I do feel here there's a message for you as well for the collective to, to just live in the moment and feel good, uh, not thinking too much about the past or the future, um, but just really you know being grateful and happy for what you have in that moment. So if you see it, watch it. I swear I've watched it like five times today already. It just made me feel so good. So again, thank you. And let's get started with your reading, okay? And as I'm saying, feel good, <laughs> I see the emotional loss card pops out here, okay? So before we start with these cards, I'm going to pull one card here uh, from Archangel Michael. We're going to read this card at the end of the reading. I'm going to put it right there. And then let's get started here. So... The first card that you have here, now this is showing up here in the past position here, recent past here. I do feel here there was something here that was lost, something that was hurtful, painful, very dear to your heart here. Uh, can be something very challenging or you know conflicting here with your emotions. But I do see here there's some sadness here, okay? But I wanna say here you have a beautiful card here. You have the hope card, this tells me uh, that spirit is saying there is definitely hope coming there. You know, you will see the light. If you're not seeing the light right now, it is there. So know that um, it is. Be, put that positive energy out into the universe as well. And then the third card that you have here is uh, the base chakra. Okay. So this tells me um, that this week I do feel here, you know, the beginning of the week, there may be some something emotional here. Um, but by the end of the week here, I feel like you're going to feel more grounded. You're going to feel more stable here. Okay. With the, um, the base chakra here. All right. It can even be a new beginning, something that's more solid and stable than what you've been dealing with. All right. So let's, uh, move on here. I already did some pre shuffle, so I'm not going to do some shuffle. Thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Libra is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Libra the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. Too many there. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. All right. Let's get one or let's get three cards here for Libra. What does Libra need to know for this week? We have the King of Wands. We have the Sun card. Ooh, beautiful. Ten of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. Okay, the Knight of Swords. And the Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Right on! Okay, so that's what I was telling here. You're going to feel more stable. You're going to feel more solid here. Can't even be an offer coming through here for you, uh, something financial, but let's see here. Okay, so I talked about the recent past and this emotional loss here. I do feel here, you know, you've been doing some healing. You may have even been, um, you know, taking some action in your healing here. This can't even be, um, you know, you... Um, 
just not giving up here in this situation, okay? You're gonna get through this. You're gonna take the action that's needed. Um, I almost feel here like you're setting an example for someone and I, that might mean something to somebody out there, but I know it's a different kind of message that came out. Um, but also, Also here too, I feel here, you know, if some of you are having a hard time getting through uh, whatever this past hurt or this pain is, I feel here too, there may be something, you know, some sort of action you need to take here, okay? You know, whether that be, you know, uh, do something healing for yourself, um, or maybe it's doing something that you feel very, very passionate about, okay? Can be a hobby, can be, uh, you know, doing something you're really good at or something that you enjoy or just doing something good for yourself here, okay? So, you know, if you're still feeling in this energy of this loss and this hurt, do something that really makes you happy and you feel good about, okay? You deserve it. The next two cards you have here, you have the Sun card and you have uh, the Knight of Swords, okay? So, you know, as I said here, they're saying there's hope in the situation and look here, you got uh, the sun card here. I feel like there's some communication coming in for you. Uh, there's somebody rushing in here to tell you something. I feel like it's going to be good news. It's going to make you happy here. Um, so there is light coming here, okay? Now, I didn't read the signs. Um, I forgot to read them at the beginning, but we do have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have this, the Leo energy, Aries and Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius, your energy, and Gemini. All right, yeah, it looks like we have all the signs here. So, and then the next two cards, look at this. Ten of Cups and Four of Wands, okay? I told you, uh, I feel here by the end of the week, you're gonna feel more grounded, you're gonna feel happy, things are gonna come together for you with, with this four of wands. So I do feel here there's some sort of message that's coming through that's gonna make you really happy. I feel here with the nine of pentacles, this could uh, be something to do uh, with a job, a career, finances, uh, can be a message coming through of a job offer or some money coming in here, uh, can't even be a love offer is what I'm getting as well. Okay. Somebody may be rushing in here to make some sort of love offer to you as well. Whatever this is, I feel you're gonna be very, very happy. And look here, you have um, the Eight of Pentacles. So again, this could have to do with career here. Okay, you have, look at this, the King of Wands. Okay, the King of Wands doesn't give up here. You're still working hard. You're still uh, going after what you want here. Look at the Sun card here. Okay, your hard work is paying off. Peace, joy, happiness. Again, happiness, happy family here. Okay, could be, you know, like I said, a job offer. Okay, and it's going to help you provide for your family. All right, could be a love offer as well, is what I'm getting. Very beautiful energy here. And then look here, you have the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, again, another offer, and look what's with it, the Judgment card. So for some of you, uh, someone from your past is returning, okay, to make uh, a love offer. I feel, you know, this person from the past, this is somebody who's returning from the past to make an offer. Can't even be a job offer, okay? You know, could have been a situation where you lost a job and now uh, they want you back. But look here, you got the Four of Pentacles. This tells me you may not accept this offer, all right? But look at this. You have the Knight of Pentacles as well, okay? You've got Pentacles all over this reading. So I feel like this is a good week for finances. You also have the Hierophant here, okay? Someone may be coming in with an offer of commitment or even marriage here is what I'm getting as well. Uh, so you got good news coming in this week here for you, Libra. Very, very nice. All right. We're going to pull some, um, some angel answer cards. Now, this can be uh, answers to a question you have on your mind or just angel guidance. So just take it how it resonates with you.
Okay, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Libra? September 21st through the 27th. What messages or guidance do you have here for Libra? Let's get three cards. Let's get three cards. What messages do you have here for Libra? There's two. Oh, we got three. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with this one. So the first card that you have is unlikely here. Okay. So what I'm getting here, so you can see here, this angel, it's a bit foggy here. Okay. You can't really see this angel's face here. Now, um, I feel here, this is a situation where you may feel, okay, that things are going to happen a certain way, or you're expecting things to happen a certain way. And this uh, message is about telling you that um, it's not going to happen how you think it's going to happen, or maybe you think this offer is going to happen a certain way. But they're saying it's going to, it is going to happen, but just it's not going to play out how you think it is, all right? So you may have the movie in your head, but they're telling you it's going to play out differently, all right? It's going to be a surprise. You have no need to worry, okay? So this tells me here, they're telling you here, you're going to have happiness. You're going to have peace and joy. So if you are worried about this situation, if you're worried that this communication's not going to come in or this offer's not going to come in, they're telling you don't worry, all right? It's going to happen. It's just not going to happen in your timing or it's not going to happen how you think it's going to happen. Now you have here, ask your angels, okay? Um, I feel this is for those of you who are experiencing some sort of loss, uh, something that you're having a hard time healing over. Uh, so I feel your angels are saying here, ask for help here, ask for healing here. Okay, ask Archangel Raphael is the healer, the, the angel of healing. Okay, don't be afraid to ask your angels to help you get through this. Okay, now the last card you have here um, is the message from Archangel Michael. And the message that you have here is called the person you're asking about is trustworthy. You drew this card as reassurance that you can rely on the person involved with this situation. And that includes trusting yourself too. Everyone makes mistakes or acts selfishly occasionally, yet by and large, the individual you're thinking of is dependable. He or she cares about you and will act accordingly in loving ways. Archangel Michael asks you not to expect this person to be perfect as this puts too much pressure on the relationship. Instead, view and treat them as you would want to be treated with love and compassion. So possible specific meanings, and remember all of these may not apply, but take the ones that do. Your idea is valid and trustworthy. The person you've just met will become a new romantic partner. Believe what this person is saying, even if you don't like what you are hearing. This individual will make a good business partner. Let go of blaming others and give anger or unforgiveness to the angels for healing. Right. The prayer, if you want to say it with me, is thank you for helping me have faith. So I open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. All right, so beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you gained some clarity uh, with this reading, Libra. Again, uh, feel free to check out uh, my description box for info on the giveaway and personal readings. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.